Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of Dune Imperium. So I've got most of the game already set up for us to play. I am doing a novice playthrough since I have not played a full game of this, using the recommended Paul as my character, along with the Beast and Earl as our two rivals. And with the novice setup, we will be starting with one Solari and a Spice, which I have on our board. We're not getting a Solari token at the Mintat space. So the cost to use that is two versus the five. Rival starting garrison troops, they get zero. Conflict cards above the rival sword masters is gonna be five, which we'll get set up here in a second. And the rivals get no starting resources. So setting up the conflict deck, we're gonna take the four level three cards, give them a shuffle. Then we're gonna take five level two. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna put one down here. Then the sword masters for the others. So there's gonna be four of those cards on top. Then we're gonna take one level one and put it on top of that. Got our reserve stacks in play. House cards, give them a shuffle. So this is determining what our rivals will be doing. Then our Imperium stack of cards. Give it a shuffle the best I can. Then I'm gonna place this in my deck holder. Take all five cards. And this would be our starting supply. So we've got Halleck, a Spice Hunter, Reverend Mother, a Recruiter, and Assassination Mission. And we'll set that up there. Then our Intrigue cards. Get that a shuffle. And get its own little deck holder. And we've got our starting cards. And with that, I believe the board is set up. So we're all down here at zero victory points. In the game will be triggered once someone ends the round with 10 or we go through all these conflict cards. And of course, I've got one of our other players that we're not using. So I've got a round start phase, our player turns, combat makers, and recall. And with that, we can get started. First player is the beast. So worker placement, he's gonna go up to Carthag Gain a soldier that's coming into the conflict area. And then Earl is going to fold space and gaining some influence there. And then for our turn, two, three, four, five. So we can go almost anywhere we want. And we're going to use the signet ring so we can go to a green space, the blue circles or the triangles, and we're going to go to Aberkeen in the blue circle. And of course, we get to activate our signet ring ability. So we're going to go up here. It's going to get us, I guess we need to see what our conflict is. Oops, I knew that was going to happen. Our conflict, first place, second, and third. That's a combat zone. We're gonna to choose to go in here and fight. And we'll bring in two. And we get to draw a card. Getting the Dune Desert. And because of our ability, draw into a dagger. Then back to the beast. Let's so harvest some spice, but since we don't have any spice tokens out, no spaces have bonus spice, reveal another card. So he's gonna go up and rally the troops. Gonna get him four soldiers in his garrison. And Earl can't go there because we've already gone in that space. 
No spice to harvest. Can't go there. Still suits. So he's coming down here and gaining some influence in that position. So we're going to seek some allies. Not totally confident about that. So we're going to go to the Hardy Warrior space. Spending a water. We will go up on the track. We get two warriors. We're going to put one in the fight and put one in the garrison. Then this card gets trashed, removed from the game. They don't have any more agents, neither do we, so we're going to reveal. So the cards in your hand, we're looking on the bottom. We've got two that help us with combat, so we'll get those played. Then we're going to have four to purchase cards with. And I think we'll go ahead and purchase this card. That gets replaced with some infantry. So we'll set our combat strength. We get two for each of these, so that's another eight. We're up to 10. The beast is gonna get two with just the one. He also gets a bonus of zero. These cards are discarded. So now we're into combat. We can play some intrigue cards. We don't have any. Resolve combat and grant rewards. We're definitely in first place. So we're gonna be able to go up in an area and get some spice. I think we'll go ahead and jump up here, which is gonna get us a victory point. And grab a spice. And the beast is gonna get two spice. And just to show what the uh, resources are doing for in solo play, whenever they don't actually use those or the cards, but when we get three cards or three water, they're gonna trade those in for victory point or seven Solari and seven spice, trade those in for victory points. So back to the round, place the spice on maker spaces that do not have an agent. Then recall, in game, we're not there yet. No one went after the Mintat, getting our leaders back and passing the first player. So ready for the next turn. Gonna get, well, yes, clean this area up. They all go back to our pools. Start of the next phase, we'll get a conflict card. We will draw five, so three. Need to shuffle and draw two more. So there's what we have. Agent turns. This guy's going to do some selective breeding, going up on that track. And for us, we're gonna go after some Solari. So for our agent, going up here to get three. Then the beast, looking for some spice. So this is gonna get him the most. So he's gonna end up getting four spice. Taking him up to six, that's not good. Then over here, he's already done some selective breeding. Going to the hall. Getting someone in the garrison. Well, no one's fighting in here. Really hate wasting that card, but I don't want to lose an easy fight. So we're going to play reconnaissance. Go up here, bringing in a guy, and we'll bring one more in, drawing a card into a dagger. Then the beast. All right, he's gonna come fight us too. 
He brings one up from here and he's bringing two more in. So they're done. We've got our reveal going on. We're revealing to upper fight. So we've got four to start with, plus one. Then we've got five money. Kind of want Freeman cards. So we'll spend two of that five for a Spice Hunter. Three left over. We'll go for a Scout for one, so we should have two left over. And a recruiter. Sounds good. So combat strength over here. Don't end up with six. And that's getting boosted by one. So he's definitely taking first place. So he's gonna go up in one of these. So basically they always go up from the lowest one they can and then if that's a tie, we get to choose which one, which at this point, I don't think it really matters. So we'll just choose down here. Gets two Intrigue cards. So one more, he gets another, or Victory Point. For second place, we get an Intrigue card and a Spice. So we demand respect. So when you win a conflict, we can go up on a track, or for combat, we can spend two spice to go up two spaces on any track. So clear all these. Add some spice over here. Recall our agents. And next round. So conflict here, get to choose two of those. Seems pretty good. We draw five cards, four. Shuffle and get one more. Oh yes, yeah, so and now we're first player. We kind of want to get our other person unlocked. So we're going to play our signet ring. Go up here for three. So we'll turn in two to get a five, so we're up to seven. Let's see, we played our ring, so we get to draw a card into a scout. Then the beast wants to go conspire. So going up on the track and getting two people to the garrison. And he wants to fold space. Going up on the track, which gets him a victory. Back to us. We are going to play the Reverend Mother. And I think we're going to go over here. So go up on that track. We get to draw a quest card. Some bribery, possibly. And we can trash a card from her hand or discard pile. And this is optional. And I think we're gonna do that. We're not fighting this round, just wanna thin her deck out some. Then the beast on the Carthag. Going in to fight. And Earl is going up to wealth. And off to our reveal. So the fight's not going to do us any good since we're not down there. So we end up with four money to purchase with. Take a scout. So we've got three money left. Two money left. And that works out for us. So he's the only one in fighting. So 
So we've got a base six. We'll still use this. Get another five. So first place all to himself. So he gets to choose two areas to go up in. He's only got two. Well, it's in last place in both of those, so that's where he moves up. And for the makers, and get our agents back. Pass first player token. Next round of conflict. So first player is going to get another agent for the turn. Intrigue and Solari. One, two, three, four, and five. So first one, still suits. It's up on the track, victory point for red. Rallying the troops. Getting four in there. For us, play diplomacy. Just gonna get us two Solari. Red's going to conspire. Another victory point to the garrison. Harvesting spice. So he's going to the place where he's going to get the most spice. So that's going to get him five. And we'll use our dagger for the green. To head up here, spending eight. Gets us our swordsman. Both of these are done, so back to us. And I think what we're gonna do is use him which is gonna get us one that we're gonna throw in there and we'll get to draw a card. Getting a Spice Hunter. This guy also gets us a token, which we're gonna put in the garrison. They're all done, so off to reveal. Let's see. So we're gonna get money in a fight. So base two, gonna be up to three. It's not gonna matter, that guy's at a base six. We don't have a Freeman bond at the moment. If we had another Freeman card in play, that would, it got us a spice. We do have the one money, we end up with three money. Which we will use for that card. So now we're off into combat. We're going to play an intrigue card. We are going to use this spinning two spice to go up two in any location. We're going to go here, which gets us a water and this token, which gets us a victory point until someone passes us there. Then this guy is going to go up another six. So for rewards, he's getting a temporary agent. Getting an intrigue card, which is going to be his third. So you can trade those in for victory. And two Solari. We get an intrigue. So master tactician. And two Solari. Got our maker's phase. Then recall, since he was obtained during a conflict, it doesn't go back for that. And everyone else comes back.
And first player passes. So next conflict, it's going for victory points now. And these people get their other agents. We will draw that and four more cards. So coming into those, so over here, getting some spice. So getting four up there or five in this location. Now it takes it up to seven, or 10, going to spend seven. And I'm not feeling so good about this game at the moment. We're going to go scouting over to the triangle location. Which will get us five spice. And we can go in to fight. We're going to send both of them in. Then red. Got some secrets. Going up on the track. Getting a victory point, and we're going to shuffle here. So the beast is up to four, and Earl and myself tied at two. I need a lot more warriors in the garrison. So here, folding space. For us, we are going to go up to Arakeen. which gets us a fighter. We get to draw a card. And that gets us another warrior. So selective breeding. Up to the hall. Get one there. Then we're going up to Wealth. Get just two and up on the track. Then going on here. Can't go there because we're in that spot. Secrets. Conspire. That can be done. So went up on the track. Getting two fighters in the garrison. This guy's done, so we're off to revealing. So we've got four money to play with. We'll get a gun thopter. Placing it with a sister. And we are in combat, so we're up to eight. And this guy's got one more to go. So he's coming into the fight. Bringing in three from off the board. And two from the garrison. So I thought we had an easy win there. So he's going to end up with a base 10. Bonus, another five, up to 15. So we can retreat up to three of our troops. Which seems like a good idea. So first place goes to red up on the track. He ignores that track and unless he's taking something away from us. We end up with two water. We get spice in that location. And bring everyone back. And 
and this guy goes back to home. First player moves to us. This guy's returned to base. Next conflict. Five cards. I'm going to use our signet ring to go to the basin. It cost us a water, but we're going to end up getting three spice. Use our ability to draw a card. Then the beast, going for some wealth. Goes up on the track. Gets him another victory point. He's running away with this. Gets two tokens. And Earl going to Carthag. Going into a fight, plus two. Going to play her dagger to go to the green area. We're going to spend four. Which will get us four in our garrison. Then he wants to fold space. Another victory point. Not good. Conspiring. Two tokens in his garrison. Oops, wrong person. Bring him back a notch, move that one up. Victory point. Two in the garrison. And then for us, we are going to go down here. Hardy Waters, spending a water. We're also getting a token. We get to put two in off the board. And we're going to bring in two more reinforcements. Going up to the hall. And Carthag. Making this fight. Oh yes, and we moved up on space there. So we are revealing. Got a base eight going in there. We know they've got a base 12. So there's no way we can win this thing. So we're gonna bank of money. We're gonna get one, but we're gonna retreat up to two of our troops. So I assume that means we're losing four here. We're gonna get a token. Go up one. So we've got a total of two money, which we will use on a recruiter. Bonus, getting one, definitely wins. Getting a victory point and some water. We get some water and spice. Nice in these two locations and recalling. And pass first player. Next conflict, two victory points, getting serious. Drawing five. One, two, three, four. Shuffle in one more. So 
We're going first. Want some spice. It's going to get four here. Which takes us up to ten. Then spending seven. He's whooping us. Oh, yes, then he's putting two in the fight. Then selective breeding. And for us, all right, we're going to play this so we can go down here spending a water. Or we'll go up here because we need the victory points. So we go up on the track, gets us a victory point. We get a card, recruitment mission, gain a money during your reveal turn this round. You may put cards you acquire on top of your deck. And we can blow up a card, which we will. When this card is trashed, we get four. Then recruits. Yeah, it's going to be a problem this turn. Still suits. Can't go there. Harvest spice. I'm going to get two, so up to five. Nope, we've got to get some people in this fight. So we're going to go down here, spending a Water, going up on the track, bringing in two, and another two. Then we're going to spin two for bribery. To go up on the track to get us a victory point. Then red. Carthag, great, he's bringing in more. One, two, three. Harvesting spice, can't get any, so getting another card. Rallying troops. Four tokens in the garrison. And for our final play, we are going to go to the basin. We've got a spin to water. We get two, but we get to bring in two people. Still don't think there's a chance. Yeah, there's not a chance. Revealing. We're going to get three money and we can put cards we acquire on top of our deck. Our combat is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. But his combat is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We have no cards to boost. He does. So red gets two victory points up to 10. For the makers, nothing to add but recall, check for end game, which has happened. Uh, we don't have any other cards to play, so the victory with ease goes to the beast. With Earl in second place at five, and I've got four victory points. So that's a quick look at how to play Dune Imperium. Not saying it was a good way to play strategically, but I think I got the basics covered there of how everything works. Let me know in the comments below everything I did wrong strategically wise, or if it was just things went too super good for the beast there. So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.